Hello Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Welcome to your timeless reading. This is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and discard the rest. Let's just welcome in now the beautiful high frequency archangels, ascended masters, light beings, spirit guides and of course our higher selves to assist us with this reading. Okay, Earth Signs, we're going to grab a couple of cards now for the centre of your reading. Wow, okay. We have the uh, devil here. Uh, so this could be you know the, the cage is always unlocked here so you know this is not an energy of being completely trapped okay this is um there could be you know some energies or some things um, around you perhaps that you're feeling that are holding you back here we have the hermit also at the center of your reading so earth signs you could be going through a bit of a hermit phase at the moment and maybe you are maybe you're looking at some of these um energies that you sense at times that you're feeling into a little bit um, and these can be you know like attachments or you know possibly addictions or maybe things that you feel are kind of holding you back so let's look at the rest of the cards then we'll look at the reading as a whole underneath you have the lady of the lake which is a very healing energy so this is really positive okay um and wow uh queen of wands um goddess of creation destruction She's coming in energy from the past. So I think um, here, Earth signs, that perhaps you've been undergoing a bit of a, a transformation like throughout your life. You've, you know, you've had, you've experienced, you know, sort of mini deaths throughout your life. And, and by that I mean, you know, maybe you've let go of things. You've gone through, you know, quite a few transitions. So, you know, you're not a stranger to treat, a stranger to change here. Okay, so let's grab another card. Wow. This is the Six of Cups. So this is a um, like an inner child energy coming forward for you, which is fantastic. Also was a theme within the Fire Science reading. And here we have the Seven of Swords. So this is going to be an opportunity for you to make some choices. Um, Earth Science. Let's grab the last four cards here. here we have um, Death or Rebirth. Okay, so once again another transformation card there. Or oh, another temperance as well. Uh, you have got a few, you have, you know, four major arcana so far. Let's see how we're going here. Well, the King of Pentacles, a very abundant, um, fortuitous energy, that one. And here we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, let's have a look at the bottom of the deck here. The Knight of Swords. <coughs> so, I feel just by looking at this uh, earth sign that so I feel that this is an energy about that that's sort of around this theme of you moving forward um, and kind of discovering your personal truth um, sort of discovering what um, what your personal truth is okay okay what aligns with you and uh, you know what you stand for or what your values are okay um, and given that you know we're all experiencing a bit of an expansion in consciousness. I think many of us are going through a bit of a redefinition of, you know, who we are and what we're about. And many of us are also looking at our deep um, subconscious issues which are coming up, which I feel that that's what this energy is representing here for you, Earth signs. There could be um, some energies in your subconscious that are, you know, this could be representing um, maybe you have attachments to things that, are sort of holding you back in some way and I feel like you are already aware of these things and I think that you are looking at them but you are sort of trying to shine a light on these things okay uh, to illuminate them a bit more so that you can unpack them and understand what's going on there um, and yeah and I think recently something's happened to sort of spark this inward um, kind of phase and that is something to do with healing so maybe something's happened in your life where you've realized that perhaps you need to do some healing whatever that means for you um and here we also have you know this energy of transformation coming from the past um which is a very positive um energy here but this is going to support you as you go through and you know examine what these things are here and also as you, you know, you could even visualize these energies sort of burning off you. It could be even limiting, um, you know, beliefs around self, around what you're capable of, around what, um, you know, maybe if you underestimate yourself a bit, 
Um, you know, maybe you're going to be, you know, the reality of who you are is going to be more in alignment with how you view yourself. Okay. Uh, many of us have, you know, I guess we may have beliefs, beliefs along the lines of we don't think that we're capable of things when we actually can be or we are, okay? Um, if that resonates. So once again, if anything I've said doesn't resonate, just, you know, let it go. Um, the other thing is that you have the inner child energy coming forward here. This is a really playful energy, which is also going to be healing. So anything you can do that's going to help you to sort of have some fun or to sort of um, raise your frequency or lighten your mood is going to really help okay um, and this is your opportunity to be able to make some choices once again this is about you know aligning deciding I guess what resonates with you and what doesn't okay so there may even be some things this might even be things about your environment or things about your relationships or your connections it might be things about within yourself um, and it's about deciding which of those things within those three categories, what, you know, with your relationships, which one al which ones align with you and which ones don't. Um, within yourself too, there might be some energies that you, that you do like about yourself, that you feel are positive and helpful for you. There might be some other energies that you feel are not helping you move forward um, that, you know, so it's also about coming into, I guess, a greater harmony with your higher self, okay? And this is an ongoing process for many of us, okay, this, um, you know, because our, yeah, our egos have sort of been running the show and we have been in survival mode, but now as we move up in consciousness, we can sort of let go of the survival mode a little bit more. And we're moving into more expansion, peace, harmony, balance, okay, um, self-understanding, self-love, self-honoring and all that, all those kinds of energies, all right. Here you have a rebirth, okay. Um... So by going through this process of, of realigning, and this is like a lot of major arcana here, um, air signs, so this is not going to happen overnight. It's probably going to be, you know, running over the course of, you know, a year or two probably. And I think many of us are doing this anywho, anyway. And that is, you know, going through this process of reawakening. But it's going to be really transformative. And here you have the temperance, which is about bringing things into balance. It's about bringing your inner child and your adult self into balance. It's about bringing your life into alignment with what your values are. Uh, it's about, you know, aligning your thoughts and feelings and your actions. And, yeah, so this is going to be really transformative for you here. And, yeah, and then in your uh, goal, this could be something you're moving towards. You know, this is the king of pentacles and that is the you know a great combination of being in flow and being grounded as well okay so this once again this is a balance point balancing flow which all the emotion um being in creative flow but also being you know grounded and taking care of practicalities as well and any responsibilities okay um so this is a really masterful energy and i think you know as time goes on we're all becoming more masterful um and I think also at the moment Earth Signs, this is an energy of Seven of Wands, your last card, and that is to do with um, creating boundaries, but also knowing when to move forward and when to step back, and also uh, making choices about what you're going to be participating in and what you're not going to participate in, which is very similar to the Seven of Swords here energy, which is about making choices in terms of your values and your beliefs. Okay, so if these things here represent energies that are holding you back and are not allowing you to fall into alignment with your mind body spirit self okay these energies are going to help you to actually come into alignment all right this is about creating boundaries this is about making choices that are right for you okay um so this might be creating boundaries with people that you know it might be saying yes to things and no to things and maybe the things that you um that you used to say yes to maybe you're going to be saying no to some of those things um you know as moving forward so you know this is the sevens are number are in number seven is number of change okay uh change and shift but um i mean you have a lot of major arcana here you have um yeah you have four okay which is you know and a lot of this is transformation and it's inner work okay 
um, and coming into balance, which is really awesome. Um, this reading flows really well for you, Earth Signs. And here you are moving forward um, in alignment in your personal truth, okay, and really sort of riding that way. This is a great card combo of emotion and thought, okay, thoughts and feelings. Um, yeah, so your consciousness is in alignment with your emotions and your emotions are in alignment with your consciousness, okay. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, Earth Signs, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, yeah, I look forward to our next reading. In the meantime, have a great day and a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.